these ancient artifacts are said to be three billion years old, are the three billion year old Klerkdorp spheres product of advanced alien machinery. For decades, humanity has successfully been conquering space. It's believed that understanding the processes occurring in the galaxy will bring us closer to unraveling the mysteries of life. But 2.8 billion year old Klerkdorp spheres were found in Western Transvaal, South Africa, and have baffled experts. The so-called Klerksdorp spheres, or Autosdal objects, a term coined by geologist Paul V. Heinrich, are spherical and subspherical objects that were found in 3 to 3.1 billion year old Precambrian, Precambrian prophylite deposits in South Africa. The objects have been the subject of much attention and speculation by ancient astronauts theorists. The theorists argue that the objects are either actual or possible out-of-place artifacts or called oop arts, which are supposedly direct evidence of a civilization that either existed billions of years ago or before the biblical flood. Additionally, they further speculate that the Ostadal objects were manufactured by, of course, intelligent extraterrestrials. The Klerkdorf spheres have been confusing scientists with their riddles for more than a decade because neither their origin nor their purpose has been clarified yet. What were they used for? What were they made? And they have, as you can see, a ridge in the horizontal area in the uh, middle of it. Now, due to the age of the balls, there is an opinion that they are extraterrestrial artifacts because human life has a theory that could, they could not have existed billions of years ago. At least 200 Klerksdorp spheres, ranging in size from 2.5 to 10 centimeters, were collected by the early 2000s. According to Paul Heinrich, a man named John Hund acquired one of those spheres and took it to the University of California to study the artifact. In one of his letters, Hund wrote that while removing the ancient rock from the site on the farm Guest de Fontaine in 1977, he decided to cut the rock into blocks. While cutting one of the blocks, he came across a sphere as hard as steel. Besides, Hunt states that one of the spheres was tested at the California Space Institute, and it was found out that the sphere was finely balanced. It exceeded the limit of their measuring technology. It was within one hundred thousandth of an inch from absolute perfection, he said. A Klerksdorf sphere was strange and puzzling and had a fibrous structure inside. Hund further noted that even NASA did not have the technology to create such objects, and the only way to create something like that would be possible in zero gravity. In the following decades, during mining South operations in South African mines, such spheres were increasingly found, and by the early 2000s, at least 200 specimens ranging in size from 2.5 to 10 centimeters were collected, 200 specimens. Almost all of the mysterious Klerksdorp balls discovered had an ideal spherical shape and a notch in the middle, and three parallel notches were found on one of the spheres. In 1984, the curator of the Museum of Klerksdorp, South Africa, Rolf Marx, described that spheres were at least 2.8 billion years old, with a very hard surface. He said the sphere was strange and puzzling and had a fibrous structure inside. Geologist Paul Heinrich said the claims made by John Hunt in the letter were not verified. He found out that the South African sphere studied by him were not perfectly balanced and shaped. Rolf noticed one more important thing, that one such ball from the museum's exposition could rotate by itself, while the museum did not have any vibration and the sphere was isolated in a closed display case from any external sources of influence. According to Michael Cremo and other researchers of prehistoric culture, these spheres add to a body of evidence suggesting intelligent life existed on Earth long before a conventional view of history places it there, and he has traveled the world gathering information on out-of-place artifacts, uparts, that is. He compiled his findings in a popular book called Forbidden Archaeology, the Hidden History of the Human Race. Moki marbles in Utah, similar spheres were found. They're about 2 million years old, and they are known as the Moki marbles of Moki Ball or Moki Balls. Legend holds that 
the departed ancestors of the Hopi Native Americans would play games with the marbles and leave them as messengers to their relatives that were happy and well, that they were happy and well. Moki marbles have a sandy interior and a hard round exterior made of iron oxide. Heinrich's tests on one of the clear dark spheres showed that it had been made of hematite, a material form of iron oxide. He found another Klerksdorp sphere consisting of the mineral wollastonite along with hematite and geothite, a hydrated, a hydrated iron oxide. Various theories for exactly how these spheres have been made are presented by those who say they are natural phenomena. Well, they don't look natural to me. Uh, but anyway, those say that they are uh, natural phenomena. Dr. Carrie Weber at University of Nebraska Lincoln is researching microbes that she has said may be help may have helped form the spheres out of byproducts of his life processes. Geologist Dave Crosby, who has done research in Utah, where the Moki marbles were found, originally hypothesized that a meteor impact scattered molten spheres that uh, then condensed on sand grains and upon closer examination explained on rocksandminerals.com he found no evidence of a meteor impact. He then developed a theory that involves rainwater dissolving iron and other minerals and carrying them to the groundwater and as they flow through the groundwater the ions are deposited around the sand grains forming spheres. And as you can see some of them are uh, very very well uh, rounded. Now, Cremo and others who hold that oparts are evidence of advanced prehistoric civilizations say mainstream scientists need to be bolder and more willing to acknowledge evidence that could contradict dominant views. Ancient astronaut theorists believe that three billion years ago, aliens delivered to our planet spherical containers filled with unicellular life forms. This is on News 10, 24. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.